I can remember every afternoon you saw this smog bank coming in from the west. It all came from vehicles and all of the exposure. Imagine a city when all expert studies showed that there used to be at least one death per hour due to air pollution related diseases. Both for developed and developing countries, air pollution is a significant problem. But also the solutions are global in nature. Car and trucks offer unbelievable amenities, mobility and freedom. So if we're going to have cars and trucks, and we are going to have cars and trucks, they should have tiny amounts of conventional pollutants. Those are the pollutants that hurt your lungs, that make it hard to breathe, for example, and very low levels of CO2, the climate pollution. The vacuum that largely existed 10 years ago was that you have two global industries, the vehicle industry and the fuels industry. You did not have any global institution working with the policy makers, the regulators, the policy shapers to deal with these two global industries. And Hanhavi said, oh, if this is a good idea, we collect all people together from the world and we try to, to create a group which can coordinate efforts. This was the starting point. The original conversation was a week long and it was held at the Bellagio Center and we had um, either the principal regulators or the thought leaders from the top dozen nation car consuming and car producing nations in the world. And we went through a highly structured, incredibly substantive conversation about each of the major issues. Fuels, tailpipe standards, pollution control equipment, fuel efficiency standards, safety, uh, weight of vehicles. By the time ICCT came into existence in 2001, we were approaching one billion vehicles in the world, bringing these brilliant people together to share their experience in dealing with these very tough issues and learn from each other and develop relationships that when they go back home after this, they know how to reach each other and say, well, how did you deal with this? And this is what I did. Uh, what would you suggest? So the mission of the ICCT is to help governments around the world reduce air pollution and improve the efficiency of motor vehicles. Uh, and we deal with all modes of transportation. We deal with passenger cars, commercial trucks, marine, aviation. We work in the top 10 vehicle markets of the world and we do that strategically because those markets uh, account for about 85 percent of new vehicle sales and the fuels they burn. When ICCT is coming to specific countries like India, uh, they are coming with that very strong knowledge backup. And this is precisely what we require in India today. There are a lot of vehicle types which you do not see in the other parts of the world. And they will require very good technology roadmap to make them more clean and more efficient. So the ICCT's combination of technical expertise and the ability to craft their work plan year to year to be directly relevant to what policymakers need is the unique characteristic of ICCT. It's incredibly valuable. The rapid uh, exchange of information uh, that we have, uh, whether it's from India, from China, to Europe, to the US, uh, you'll see a question come in in the morning on the email, by the evening you've got an answer. I see it as a technical support group for California, the US EPA, and countries around the world that are facing similar problems and um, that need a non-governmental think tank, really, to turn to uh, to help support some of the kinds of analyses that we need to do. And sometimes we also need somebody who isn't quite so close to the issues, who's at, got a little distance, who cares about the same things that we do, but who can stand outside of government and make recommendations about how to approach a, a difficult problem. The ICCT members can encourage sometimes uh, government officials to introduce more stringent regulations 
or more efficient energy supply. It's very important role because ICCT is a neutral organization, no bias at all. So government officials can trust them and uh, exchange useful information as well. ICCT has been a great resource to help us analyze policy in Mexico. So we've been able to analyze policies for Mexico City metropolitan area, to analyze different standards, for instance, for um, vehicles, what the time limit should be, why the U.S. standards are better or not than the European standards, how to present the information to policymakers. So it has been incredible to work with ICCT, their technical capacity. It produces very, very high quality analysis um, of just what's happening in the world technically um, uh, for fuel efficiency and, and other cases. The, the best example I can think of is there is a graph that ICCT has set up initially and continues to update, which on the same footing compares fuel efficiency and greenhouse gas standards from countries around the world. Everybody cites this graph. It is an incredibly valuable way of knowing where we as a country are versus another country um, as a metric. What the ICCT can do in the future for China, I think it should be focused on two uh, areas. One is, uh, again, how can we get a better integration for the transportation sector, for a reduction of CO2 plus non-CO2 greenhouse gases. Uh, that is a very important for China for next day. And the second one is uh, how to integrate it the transportation sources. Traditionally, the on-road transportation plus the non-road. I think is really important to mention is that we do have a great group of funders that are willing to support us even though we don't get very splashy headlines. I mean, what we're doing is a lot of very technical, nitty-gritty, behind-the-scenes work, helping governments in the trenches get regulations out the door, uh, that's not all that sexy, uh, but the tons that we are achieving are very real and very substantial, and our funders get that. I'm very confident, given the group of the collection of experts that ICC has brought together and hopefully will continue to support and enhance, that in 2021 time frame, I would look back and I would say we have made leaps of progress much more than we were in 2011, in saving lives, saving oil, protecting the environment, uh, that the public supports that have spurred innovation. ICCT has exceeded uh, my expectations. Continuing, I'm very confident uh, because of the caliber of people uh, that we have on staff, and the caliber of the people on the council. Uh, I'm amazed how well it's worked.